from Thailand goes in lane one. He was fourth in the 100, fifth in the 400 meters. We've got Siono of Indonesia. He took the silver in the 100 meters and the bronze in the 400. But uh, Harry Das is the hot favorite for this from Malaysia. We saw him take gold in the 100, gold in the 400. Ban Dinh Duong of Vietnam, sixth in the 100, eighth in the 400. And outside we've got Amir Firdaus Jamaluddin of Malaysia. And he took gold in the long jump and bronze in the 100 meters. So Suyono is the record holder with 25.04. He set that in his own country in Solo, Indonesia back in 2011. amazing thing with Suyono is that he's actually 43 years of age now and yet still able to compete at the very top level. But this is the young gun, Harry Das of Malaysia. He's really stormed to the two golds so far. I was wondering whether he had the stamina for the 400 meters, but in the 400 he went out fast and nobody could pull him back. So he's got good stamina as well as good speed. So it's almost inconceivable that he would not win the gold in this race. That's Dan Coing of uh, Thailand. Probably third place would be the limit of his ambition. That's not to belittle his efforts. An excellent athlete in his own right, but just can't live with Haridas and Suyono. the stadium announcer to give the names of the runners in this final of the men's 200 meters T38 category. Coing just looking around the stadium, probably wondering why they can't get on with things. Suyono, I think he's meditating there, the getting in the zone, as they say. Thailand still a little bit disappointed in, with their showing in the track and field. 17 gold so far, but Indonesia have got 23. Malaysia 21, Vietnam 12, Philippines 4. Myanmar started the day with two, now that's three. And ladies and gentlemen, back to the track. On the men's 200 meters T38 final. Okay, we're ready to go. In League One, representing Thailand, Dumko, one long to pull. In Lane Two, from Indonesia, the games of the record holder, Suyono. Record holder at 200, silver in the 100, bronze in the 400. Representing Malaysia, gold medalist in the 400. 
100 meters and 100 meters. Krishna Kumar Haridas. Haridas, double gold medalist already. Just about to get his third. We shall see. Took the silver in the long jump. Ladies and gentlemen, your finalists for the men's 200 meters T38. Two Malaysians, one Indonesian, one Thai, and one Vietnamese. All eyes on lane three. Harry Das, the likely winner. And can he break the 25 second mark? It's a good lane for him to be running in, Harry Das. He's a tall man, so the inside lane is a little bit tight for the taller man. Lane three, lane four, they're the favourites. Or the favourite lanes to run in, I should say. Favourites for this race, no question, lanes three and two. Well, Sionos stolen a yard at the start, but Harry Das into his running now. It's those two with Amir Firdaus Jamaluddin on the outside. But the form runners are going well now, and it's Harry Das who's got a yard on Siono. Amir Firdaus Jamaluddin going well on the outside, and they're all abreast across there. It could be a photo finish. Is he going to hold on? Just about manages to hold on. Harry Das first, Siono second. Amir Firdaus Jamalud in third. Well, it's no game's record, but it is a very, very quick race and much closer than most of us expected. Well, it's a third gold medal for Harry Das, but man, he had to work for it. Siono, great start. Stole a yard at the start. But on the outside, Amir Firdaus Jamaluddin, gold medalist from the long jump, really powering along. And with competitors on both flanks, Haridas not distracted, kept his stride going and took gold. How close is that? Three competitors within a metre of one another. But no doubt in who was the winner, Haridas from Malaysia, Gold in 100, gold in 400, and now gold in silver too, gold in 202.